have you been wondering what is the fundamental difference between alternating current and direct current then you're definitely at the right place at the first place let us try to understand what is direct current and what is alternating current and probably you'll get to know what is the actual difference with respect to the mobility of the electrons between ac and dc so whenever we are connecting a dc supply to a light load which is basically a lamp the current starts flowing and the light starts glowing in this particular fashion even if you have an ac supply and you connect it to the same light load the current starts flowing and the light glows you don't fundamentally see any difference over here but there is a lot of differences that are taking place internally what are those differences let us go step by step so what is direct current then if a current is continuously constant with respect to time throughout the time duration then we say such type of a current as direct current and how does the process internally take place in order to light the lighting load let's take a look so let us consider a battery a dc battery actually connected to a light load you are connecting it through conductors which is indicated over here in purple so these conductors will be having electrons and what happens is that since you're connecting negative terminal of the battery over here with respect to the conductor there is a repulsive force that is produced with respect to this particular electron and this electron will gain sufficient energy and hits the other electron over here consequently this will gain some amount of energy and it will hit the other electron that is adjacent to it and the process repeats throughout and it comes to this point where the electron actually hits it over here and this gains sufficient energy and it gets attracted towards the positive polarity of the supply so the direction of the electron flow is in this particular fashion where it starts from negative terminal and goes to the positive terminal as a whole if you see the direction of electron flow will be in only one direction in case of direct current but in case of ac the process is slightly different so what is alternating current and what is the fundamental difference with respect to direct current so if you carefully observe current which constantly changes with respect to time in this particular fashion is called as alternating current as the name itself gives you an indication alternating is something that keeps changing and if you observe it starts from zero and current keeps changing and it is of different magnitude at each instant of time and hence we will be calling these type of currents as alternating current having said that how is it actually uh, working with respect to the lighting load that we have actually considered in this case at the first place let us consider a positive half cycle when we are connecting it to a lamp in this particular fashion so in positive half cycle the polarity of the supply will be plus and minus i'll only be considering three electrons for understanding purpose in this particular fashion and now there will be a repulsive force between the supply negative terminal and the electron in the conductor so this repulsive force will allow the electron to gain sufficient energy in order to hit this electron in this particular fashion consequently this will gain sufficient energy to hit this particular electron and this will gain sufficient electron energy to move in this particular direction and gets attracted to the positive terminal of the battery so the flow of electrons in this case is in this direction in this direction in this direction and comes back to this particular flash what happens during negative half cycle so the supply polarity gets reversed consequently what happens is that i'll be considering the electron in this particular direction the electron gains sufficient energy hits this electron this electron gains sufficient energy hits this electron and this electron will gain sufficient energy and gets attracted to the positive terminal of the battery so what has happening now during negative half cycle the flow of electrons is in the opposite direction that means at some point in time when you switch on the supply the electron starts moving in one direction and in the negative half cycle the electron reverses its direction and moves in the opposite direction that is why what happens is that there will be flickering light keeps flickering because some amount of during positive half cycle current is flowing to the light load in one direction and negative half cycle the supply is immediately reversed and the current is flowing in the other direction so i am actually indicating with a flickering kind of a representation where you see the current glowing and then turning off glowing and then turning off but actually is this happening in real life application if you see in most of our systems if you connect a light load to an ac supply we don't see this flickering taking place isn't it why is it so it is because of the concept of frequency so what is the concept of frequency over here playing a very important role mostly in most of the nations we will be choosing 50 hertz or 60 hertz as our frequency isn't it so that means the time period corresponding to each of these 
frequency that is t is equal to 1 by f is 0 0.02 seconds that means each of the sinusoidal signal that you actually saw keeps changing for every 0 0.02 seconds that is approximately 20 milliseconds and with respect to 60 hertz it is 0 0.016 seconds that means the sinusoidal signal keeps varying in such a way that we will not be able to see the variations from our eyes and that is why we don't see the concept of flickering for frequencies such as 50 hertz and 60 hertz okay now we know the concept of frequency but why do we consider the current flow from positive to negative so i'll be considering a lighting load again we saw that the flow of electrons is from negative to positive and the current flows in the opposite direction so this is actually our convention so usually when we uh, say uh, in general the current convention is always from the positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal of the battery this is the direction in which we will indicate the current but these are called as conventional current and why is it so that we actually consider the conventional current to be opposite to the flow of electrons so we need to go back to our history as what happened previously so in the 17th or 18th century the theory was proposed without the invention of electron Later, J.J. Thomson in actually bought in the concept of electron and proposed that proved that the electrons flows from negative terminal to the positive terminal in this particular fashion. And uh, the entire theory, when he proved, the world was surprised because of the fact that we always assumed current was flowing from positive to negative. Now, all of a sudden, a person comes up and states that the electron movement is from negative to positive. So now we have to change the convention of the current from negative to positive. But we have already studied from 100 to 200 years from 17th century to 19th century with the convention that the current always flows from positive to negative so if you change the direction of current then the entire physics will change so what they did is they still assumed the direction of current to be from positive to negative and the electron theory is assumed to be flowing in the opposite direction because it was proved by jj thomson and that is why we always say that the con current convention is always in the opposite direction I hope this concept is clear and if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video meet you guys in another video thank you